Confluence is an amazing tool for creating and sharing content between teams and departments within your organization. But it's likely that some of the content being created by your teams would require a level of review before it's shared or made public to the wider organization. In this short video, I'm going to show you how approvals of Confluence can make the content review and approval process an absolute breeze without needing to leave Confluence or use external tools that are not integrated. We'll focus on Confluence page approvals in this video, but if you want to learn more about section approvals, be sure to check out the video that's appeared on the screen now. Right then, let's get started. So once we're in Confluence and we're in one of our spaces, we need to navigate to a page to start using the page approvals. So in this example, I'll go for the company car scheme page. And here we have a generic page that we want to get approved by a number of people in the organization before this page can then be shared with a wider audience. So once approvals has been installed, at the top of the page, you'll notice this approval icon here, and this will begin the page approval process. So if we click into this and then click request approval, this opens up the page approval configuration. Now on the left-hand side, we have a number of options. It's entirely up to you how you want the page approvals to function. So first we have two sets of notifications. You can send requests to the approvers that you've invited to review your page and they will get these via email. So this option is on by default. We'd recommend that you keep it on, but of course, if you wish, you can turn it off. Secondly, you have send updates. Now this is for the page owner. So once things have happened in the approval process, the send updates option will keep the page owner in the loop and let them know when pages have been approved or rejected. Next up, we have expiry. So you have two options here. Expire and edit will automatically void an approval once someone makes an edit to the Confluence content will automatically void an approval once someone makes changes to a Confluence page. And this can be a really useful way in ensuring the content that you have approved is the actual content that has been reviewed. And finally, we have expire on date. Now, if this is enabled, you can select a date that you want the approval to expire. And you can be quite granular with this. You can choose the date and the time and the approval will expire on that date, which is great for documents that have a certain lifespan or you need reapproval at certain intervals. This is a perfect scenario for this feature. And finally, we have the set total approvals, and this will allow you to set a minimum number of people that need to approve a document before it's approved. So this is particularly useful if you had a number of approvers on a document, let's say five, but you only need two to approve the document before it is classed as approved. In the set total approvals, you would set this number to two. And on the right hand side, this is where you can choose your approvers. So if I click into here, I'll select myself starting. Next, I'll choose another colleague and one more colleague. Once we're happy with the selection, just press save and the approval is now pending. The approval is now active. And the three approvers, including myself, have received an email asking us to go and review this page on Confluence. So from an approver's perspective, I can click into this at any time and I can view who the approvers are. If someone has approved the document, I can see the date that that was approved. And here, because it's me and I'm logged in, I can see the approve or reject options. And here I can go and approve and I can add a comment if I wish. Just press approve and the status is updated. At any time, if you wanted to get a history of what has happened with the approval process of a particular conference page, just click the three dots here, navigate to page approval history, and this will display the history of approval on a Confluence page. And as you can see, the various dates, times these actions happened, and also the Confluence page version number is visible here. So it's a really easy way to get that full history of how an approval has progressed on a page. Just to finally point out, this page is exportable to CSV. So if you need to export these out for further analysis, you can do that. And there we have it. That's a quick tour of the review and approval process for Confluence pages. If you're new to approvals and considering trying it out, you can get a free 30-day trial on the Atlassian Marketplace by following the link in the video description below. And just remember, we're here to help you get the most out of approvals. So if you want to learn more about any of the features in the product, be sure to check out our user guides by following the link shown on the screen now. Or if you have any questions, just send an email to support at fox.io and one of our customer support team will be more than happy to help.